Today's word of interest is silkworm. The silk we use to make our clothes comes from silkworms. Today I'm reading a book called The Dress and the Girl. The Dress and the Girl by Camille Andros and illustrated by Julie Morstad. Back when time seemed slower and life simpler, there was a dress, a dress much like many others, made for a girl by her mother. The dress loved the girl, and the girl loved the dress. They spent each day together, an ordinary girl wearing an ordinary dress. Every day the same story. They rode in a wagon, they sailed in a boat, they went to school, jumped rope, and played tag. But they longed for the extraordinary. Something singular, stunning, or sensational. Instead, life continued on in quite an ordinary fashion. Picking daffodils, feeling the wind, and staring at the stars. Then one day, it came time to leave. Their story was changing. But still... They rode in a wagon, sailed in a boat, they went to school, jump rope, and played tag. Finally, the dress and the girl arrived. They wondered if now was the time for something singular, stunning, or sensational, for something extraordinary. Instead, the dress was folded up and placed into a trunk. The dress waited for the girl to find her. She waited and waited, but the girl never came. So the dress set out to find the girl. Alone she rode in a wagon. She sailed in a boat. But she did not go to school, jump rope, or play tag. Instead, she traveled the world, searching. Day after day, week after week, month after month, and year after year, each day, week, month, and year, telling a different story. While she searched, the dress thought about the girl, feeling the wind dance with her was singular. Picking daffodils together had been quite stunning, and staring at the stars, sensational. She missed the girl. The dress was tired. She needed a rest. From her new spot, the dress could see the world all around her, people moving quickly, with heads down, passing by on their way to important or not so important places. One day, a woman walked by. She glanced up at the dress and stopped. She did not move quickly down the street. She looked and looked. In that look, the dress and the girl remembered. They remembered riding in wagons. They remembered sailing in boats. They remembered going to school, jumping rope, and playing tag. They remembered daffodils, dancing wind, and starry skies. Every day, its own story. They had found each other at last. And that was quite extraordinary. I hope you enjoyed the book. Bye!